Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. It's hump day. We made it to the middle of the week. Well, I have a wonderful book today, and it's all about a dog who opens up a bookstore. Can you imagine that? Wouldn't that be fun? Let's see what kind of an adventure he has opening up a bookstore. This book is called Dog Loves Books, and I think it's just perfect for our story today. It's written by Louise Yates, and this is an Alfred Knopf publication. We want to thank them for letting us read our book online today. Are you ready for Dog Loves Books? Okay, here we go. Dog loved books. He loved the smell of them, and he loved the feel of them. He loved everything about them. Look at dog loving those books. I'll bet you love books too, huh? Dog loved books so much that he decided to open his own bookstore. He unwrapped, he unpacked, and stacked the books ready for the grand opening. Look at that, he's even advertising with all of his dog friends that he's about to open a bookstore. He must be very excited about his new store. Takes a lot of work to get a new store ready. Well, when the day of the grand opening finally came, Dog had a bath, he dried his fur, he blew his nose, and he threw open the door to greet his new customers. Here he is getting all ready and opening the door for his new customers. But no one was there. He looked. No one was there, so Dog tried to keep busy. Look, he even made some tea. He's trying to keep busy until the new customers come. Until finally, a lady came into the store, and she said, I'll have a tea with milk and two sugars, she said. I'm sorry, said Dog, but this is a bookstore. I only sell books. And the lady hmm, walked out. Oh, she doesn't look happy. She wanted tea. But it's a bookstore, right? Dog was alone. He waited. And he waited. Look at him waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. He looks kind of bored, doesn't he? Waiting. And then a man came into the store. See the man coming into the store next? So the man came into the store just to ask for directions. When he left, Dog was downhearted. That means he felt kind of sad and like, oh, this isn't what I thought it would be. He was downhearted, but not for long. Here he was feeling downhearted when the man only asked for directions, but Dog decided not for long. He wouldn't wait one moment more. He fetched a book from the shelf and he began to read. And when he read, he forgot that he was waiting for customers. Look at that, see? He just used his books. Because we know when you read a book, it takes you on an adventure, doesn't it? Sure. When he read, he forgot that he was alone. Oh my goodness, look. He must be on a dinosaur adventure in this book. Look at that. When he read, he forgot that he was even in the bookstore. That 
that's a great way to use your time when you're waiting for something. And when one adventure ended, Dog simply took another book down from the shelf. Here he goes, getting more books. And he went on a new adventure. Now look, he's on a kangaroo adventure this time. A new adventure would begin. So Dog was somewhere else altogether, like in outer space, on this adventure. Dog was somewhere else altogether when a customer came into the store to ask for a book. And Dog knew exactly which ones to recommend. Look at that. I think he knew just what that little girl wanted. Dog loves books. But most of all, most of all, He loves to share them. Do you know someone else who loves to share her books? Hmm. Maybe Miss Simino? And that's the end of Dog Loves Books by Louise Yates. I'll bet you love to share your books as well, don't you? Now remember, sometimes when it's rainy weather or you kind of have to stay inside or you're feeling a little bored, don't forget, every single book you have in your house is another adventure. So go on an adventure. You could go alone or you could take somebody with you. You can share that book and take a friend with you on your adventure, okay? I hope you have a wonderful day today, my friends. And I will see you tomorrow.